A lot of big companies across the UK will be reporting their gender pay gaps over the next few months. And this is a huge story. And um, we, the BBC, will be reporting on it, obviously. Um, but we're supposed to be an example. And we are in a position, because we're first up in a way, because of this huge row. And how we handle it um, is important, not just in W1A. Um, you know, it, it, it's important to, I think, workplaces, employers, employees, women, men, uh, uh, across the country. And I would also add um, to Michelle's point that you know, we're not in the business of producing toothpaste or tires at the BBC. Our business is truth. Oh, we can't operate without the truth. If we're not prepared to look at ourselves honestly, how can we be trusted to look at anything else in our reporting honestly? It, is, it just won't do. It can't be a starting place to not deal with the, the facts. The facts are the facts. And I've been taught for 30 years to go report the facts and the important facts, make a story, tell it like it is as best you can see. I mean, four years, I've spent four years in China, for heaven's sake. I mean, we have an enormous censorship. There's so many injustices. And, and I've been proud to, to, to go out there and deal with the facts as I find them, to, to face down the censorship pressures and intimidation of a very significant and powerful regime which operates now at every level in the UK as well as in China. And because I believed in our values, I had a compass. If, if, if corporate centre take my compass away, I don't know who I am as a BBC journalist. That is the profoundest sense I have of who I am as a BBC journalist, is to report the truth as I find it. If they don't report the truth, how can we? Absolutely.